It's been a crazy journey for Mud Hens outfielder Jacob Robson over the past few weeks. He was named a double-A All-Star before being promoted to Toledo on June 28th. And since then, he has proven that he can play at this level. We've seen home runs, stolen bases, and great plays all around. All of it coming in a frame that measures 5 feet 10 inches and 175 pounds. Back and this one is gone again. Maybe the smallest guy on the team, but he's got the might, no doubt. Growing up, I was never uh, never a big kid. I was always one of the smallest kids on the team, if not the smallest. So, um, you know, playing aggressive and playing hard and not taking any plays off, that's something that uh, I take pride in. And yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not gonna hit 30 home runs. Uh, I'm not gonna be a huge RBI guy, but I'm gonna try and get on base and uh, pressure the defense and play good defense myself. Um, you know, undersized guys can't really afford to take plays off, so that's, uh, like I said, something I take pride in. Man, has he got the speed? He caught him flat-footed out there. What hustle on this uh, young man's part. He's making things happen here. Despite his size, the London, Ontario native has the nickname the Maple Hammer, which dates back to his time in college at Mississippi State. Honestly, um, when I was in college, one of our media guys kind of made up uh, the name, and it just kind of stuck. Um, but. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the origin of the name, the Maple, you know, obviously being from Canada. And just like most Canadians, Robson grew up loving the game of hockey. In fact, his dream was to one day play for the Detroit Red Wings. Yeah, being from Ontario, uh, hockey was kind of like my first love. I, I grew up on the ice pretty much. Uh, ever since I could walk, I was, I was on the ice. And, um, you know, well, what I wanted to do when I was a young kid was, was play in the NHL, play for the Red Wings. So. Um, I'd always played baseball uh, in the summer and there came a point, I think it was my sophomore year in high school, where I decided to stop playing hockey and just kind of uh, see where baseball uh, took me and, and it ended up working out. Perhaps the secret of Robson's success is his off the field training, which consists of yoga and dieting, something he takes very seriously. I try and stay healthy and, and uh, you know, being mobile and, and being like in tune with your body. Uh, helps with that. Obviously, diet and and rest are are two other things that kind of keep you in tip-top shape every day. Um, being available to the team is uh, is an asset, especially in this game. There's so many so many games every single year. Um, being ready to go at, when your name's called is is essential. Robson has elite speed and has shown the ability to do a little bit of everything with the Hens, including a home run and back-to-back -back nights in just his second and third games in Toledo. Yet for him, it all starts with durability. Like I said, just being ready uh, when my name's called, being available, um, not changing the game plan at all, just kind of staying within myself, uh, not trying to do too much, using my speed and, and being aggressive. I think that's those are the two best things that I have that that can help the team win. And Robson's hot start in Toledo has certainly turned heads around the organization, including that of his manager, Doug Mankiewicz. It all comes full circle for Robson, who is an eighth round pick by the Detroit Tigers in the 2016 MLB Draft. He started last season in single A and has since progressed quickly, even surprising him to some extent. I did not think I'd, I'd be here at this point in my career. I mean, it's, uh, it's a pretty quick uh, movement. That, that I've had so far and you know part of it is is due to you know me doing well in the field but also uh, the organization giving me an opportunity and uh, I think I'm, I'm very grateful for that and I'm not going to take that for granted. Reporting from Fifth Third Field, Zach Herrick, BCSN.